I'm AJ Blyer. I'm the director and executive producer of Hyperactive. It's the new launch video for Fujifilm's new HCK 25-1000 zoom lens. When Fujifilm first approached me to make a video with this new prototype lens, I knew right off the bat, I just wanted to create something that was more than just a clinical lens test. I wanted to create the coolest lens test that ever was. And everything about the shoot was about going big. You know, our space was big, our lens was big. So I knew I wanted the cars to be big as well. And we really got them. Let's get a beauty shot of this. Let's get just on the I love exploring with new technology, new lenses, new camera systems. And I'm a huge fan of their Premista series. I shoot so many projects just exclusively on that lens because I feel there are so few optics that really thread the line between being beautiful for people and having a nice character to it, but also having enough clarity and sharpness for product. I can't stress enough how much these lenses just tow that line perfectly. But I've never shot on a lens like this before. Slate in. Mark right away. Clear. Action. Amazing. Yeah, I like it. As we were sitting down on the first shot, one of the things I noticed when we were testing from going super long to super wide was how flat we projected the optic was. It's 25 millimeters. It's really, really flat. You get no bow. You've got no bend. It's just super, super clean. It's incredible that we started on so close on, on that Bugatti and ended to the ultra wide without having to swap a lens. It makes my life a lot easier. Lenses of this style normally come with broadcast controls, which we did have available to us, and I've played with them before, things like NAB and Cinegear. It's really fun, and they're pretty intuitive, but it's not generally how we shoot, and I think one of the big objectives of this camera test was to see how well it performed in a commercial environment. So we left those in the case, never took them out, and instead, we connected it to our Preston Focus system, in which it performed beautifully. One of the key functions here is focus control, zoom control, and iris control. You're like, is my pressing gonna work? Is my microforce gonna work? Can we pull iris? And what was really impressive was the camera and the lens and all of the normal functions were able to be performed. I needed equipment that would allow me the flexibility and ease to reposition and fly around a much smaller camera package, yet the structural strength and smoothness of really clean, beautiful moves, despite flying around a, a camera lens that's over 60 pounds. Because of the incredible equipment and team at Chapman Leonard, I was able to place this lens wherever I wanted to immediately. There was really no compromise in having a lens this big on this production. This is probably the shot I'm, I'm maybe most excited about. I'm really, really pumped for this, I can't wait. There's a moment there where it's like really oh fast God. and it's like punching in and out. Yeah, it. it's so good. So there's a moment when we were shooting and I had to go back and look at it. We must have been at maybe five, six hundred millimeters. The car is super high contrast against a super bright window with like some slightly red tail lights and you could see all the heat waves coming off of the engine of the car. It is one of the prettiest beats in the piece. Thank you. That worked exactly as I wanted it to work. I'm really excited. Okay, we're on our final shot of the day, our final setup. You have the Koenigsegg here. We're wetting down the ground. It's gonna give us some beautiful, beautiful reflections. We got some dry ice too, give it a little bit of atmosphere. This is our final shot. Take us home. Here we go. One of the great things about HZK 25 to 1000 is it fits the same DNA as the Promista, and so you can work with it interchangeably. It's a wonderful lens for shooting large scenes with a lot going on. Action scenes, particularly, where things are not recreatable, I think a lot of cinematographers are going to use this tool in that space. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. That's a wrap, guys. If you're lucky enough to get a hold of this lens and to put it on the right tools that let you move it in the same way, it only opens up possibilities. There's really nothing about it that feels like a compromise. Yeah.